Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Simon Wright. I am the Director of Programming here at Japan House London. And thank you very much for joining us uh, today for this very special event, exploring Bingata textiles from Okinawa. This presentation is a part of Japan House London's Spotlight on Local Japan program, celebrating the regional diversity of Japan developed in collaboration with JNTO, the Japan National Tourism Organization. And today we are broadcasting live from Japan House to a virtual audience on Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, X, and LinkedIn. And this event is being recorded and a recording will be archived on our social media platforms following this event. So a warm welcome to everybody watching online as well. Thank you. So today I am delighted to welcome some very special guests uh, from Okinawa. We have Ueda Miki, a Bingata textile dyer from the Chinam Bingata Laboratory, and Odo Azusa from the Ryukyu Bingata Preservation and Expansion Consortium. But before we delve into the details of the Bingata dyeing process and its history, would you please join me in welcoming Ijima Kaoru from the Okinawa Convention and Visitors Bureau, who will give a short introduction to Okinawa Prefecture, located in the stunning subtropical Ryukyu Archipelago. Please, Ijima-san, thank you. Hello, thank you. Thank you, Simon. Um, we are very much delighted to be here. Uh, I would like to introduce a very uh, a little bit about Okinawa. Okinawa is Japan's southernmost pre prefecture, comprising of 160 subtropical islands and boasting a year-round warm climate similar to Hawaii, Miami, and Cancun. Just three hours from Tokyo, and blessed with incredible natural beauty, from lush forests to crystal clear water, uh, abundant and in with coral and beautiful white sands. Okinawa is now a prefecture of Japan today, but it was an independent kingdom called Ryukyu from the 14th to 19th century. The kingdom was a hub for vigorous maritime trade and enjoyed and maintained special relations with China, Japan, as well as other Southern East Asian nations. In order to understand and appreciate Okinawan culture, it, its uniqueness and its diversity, it helps to look at a bigger picture. As an example, I would like to take another form of Okinawan textile tradition called kasuri or more collectively called ikat, which is a woven cloth. During the time of Ryukyu Kingdom, there were two major textile products producers in South and Southeast Asia, which is India and Indonesia. India, since ancient times, produced natural fibers such as cotton, silk, linen, wool, and so on. Due to its abundance of material and advanced advancement of technologies, India was famed for its textile production. It is likely that the technique of ikat first developed there in India. Indonesia is another produce of ikat, as well as batik, which is the celebrated resist dye cloth. It is believed that the Okinawan ikat is closely related to Indian and Indonesian counterparts and originally brought to Okinawa uh, through Southeast Asia or China trade route. The technique of making ikat cloth in Okinawa is surprisingly similar to the areas mentioned above. In Okinawa, we see a wide range of ikat cloth of various material, patterns, and regional characteristics. Uh, I'll list um, a few representative styles from various areas of Okinawa. Uh, first, I would like to introduce Kumejima, which is in that uh, very center, small island, very center of the uh, map. Next slide, please. Okay, Kumejima is an island only one hour flight away from Naha, the capital city of Okinawa. When talking about um, uh, Okinawan textile, Kuma Kumejima is the most important area 
because uh, it is believed to be the oldest producer of ikat in Okinawa dating back to 14th century. It is also believed that ikat making spread to mainland Okinawa from here uh, and then to Japan. The characteristic of Kumejima Tsumugi is in, it's in deep color made possible by, by natural uh, plant dye and mud dyeing process. So the colors there, uh, it's, uh, it looks almost blackish, but it has a very um, complicated hues because uh, it has um, a natural and a mineral dye combined. And uh, patterns created in Kumejima became a prototype of Jap Japanese ikat designs. Only silk is used in its production. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, we'll go back to that, the capital city of Naha, which is in that, uh, that to the uh, right hand side of the map. Uh, Shuri Ori. Shuri is the ancient capital of Ryukyu Kingdom, and Ori means weaving. So, Shuri Ori is a collective term of woven fabric produced in this area using various techniques. Most notable is hanaori, a kind of float weaving technique. Okay, we, and then we'll go to um, Yayama area, which is in the, the bottom of the map, uh, almost close to Taiwan than to uh, other area of Japan. Minsa means cotton, and uh, this is a cotton woven cloth, traditional produced in this area. In comparison to uh, silk weaving, the production of minsa is simpler, and in olden days, it was produced by village women. Today, it is popular as obi for kimono, and a wide range of souvenir items are produced too. And uh, we'll go back to the, the main island, uh, to the, the very uh, closer to the tip of the, the main island. Kijokaba Shofu, next slide, please. Uh, Kijoka is that the name of the area in Ogimi Village, Okinawa Main Island. You might have heard of Ogimi Village featured in that uh, recent Netflix series on longevity. Bashofu is produced from abaca, a type of banana plant. The bark of the plant is separated layer by layer. Then the skin is peeled, scraped, and uh, its silky fibers stripped by hand. The process is arduous, time consuming. Today, this is arguably the most expensive cloth in Japan. However, up until the, the Second World War, Bashofu was made and worn by commoners and typically used for um, work kimono. So anyway, virtually whenever you visit, wherever you visit Okinawa, you are likely to find uh, unique arts and crafts. Next slide, please. Okay, in addition to uh, uh, textile that I mentioned, we have uh, pottery. Uh, incidentally, there's a, a uh, exhibition of poetry on the ground level. Please check it out. And uh, we have lacquerware, you know, woodwork, silverwork. Uh, yes, so it's a wonderful place to visit. And uh, we have uh, um, some books and information on the ground floor today. So please come by later. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ijima-san, for providing that wonderful context uh, for our conversation, which we will now have exploring Ryukyu Bingata. So would you please welcome Ueda Miki and Odo Azusa. Thank you very much for joining us. We're also joined by uh, Kurosawa-san, who will be interpreting for us today as well. So to give a brief introduction to our, our two guests here, we have Ueda Miki, who was born in Naha, which is the capital of Okinawa Prefecture, and joined the Chinem Bingata Laboratory in 2018. And the Chinem family is one of the main families specializing and excelling 
in, in creating Bingata textiles. Uh, this happened during the time of the Ryukyu Kingdom. And the family also played an important role in reviving the craft after World War II. Ueda san has studied Bingata dyeing techniques under Chinan Toma, the 10th generation uh, craftsperson of the Shimogiho Chinen family. And currently, she not only creates textiles, but she also teaches online courses and conducts workshops to promote Bingata. And she will be giving a demonstration for us a little bit later on. And Odo Azusa, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Odo san was also born in Naha. She has been involved in the management of the Ryukyu Bingata Preservation and Expansion Consortium. And her responsibilities include the utilization of intellectual property of Bingata designs, collaborating with craftspeople, and the efforts to increase awareness of the craft through design competitions. So, shall we explore Bingata a little bit more? So, Ryukyu Bingata. What is it? <laughs> um, yes, if I were to describe it in just one phrase, it is a historical um, dyeing technique and the fabric uh, that is made out of that technique and um, that is uh, rooted in Okinawan. The main characteristics um, of these fabrics is the, the usage of vibrant colors and very intricate and bold designs. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about the history of Bingata. Hi. Um, yes, sure. The history of um, Bingata is um, dates back for centuries. Um, it is believed that the dying um, has started um, before uh, the Okinawa became Okinawa. Um, it started when it was the Ryukyu Kingdom. And Bingata was worn by the royal families um, back then when it was the kingdom, um, as well as the ruling class um, favored Bingata as well. It showcased um, their status. そして、その and how did Bingata became the design that we see today um, is strongly rooted to the Ryukyu Kingdom's trade um, and the links uh, with the neighboring countries. Um, one of the examples would be China, um, but not only limited to China, it had trades with all the other surrounding countries, including Japan mainland as well. Mm -hmm. And those influences can be seen in the design that we see um, in Bingata today. But the time has passed, um, and as the Satsuma advanced to um, invade the Ryukyu Kingdom, and 
Ryukyu Kingdom became part of Japan and became Okinawa. And that resulted in a lot of craftspeople who were um, who practiced Bingata losing their professions because Bingata was provided for the royal family, um, essentially. その後もですね、えっと、第二次世界大戦の影響もありまして、沖縄では激しい地上戦がありましたので、その時に銀型で使っていた道具ですとか、型紙の多くも消失してしまい、銀型にとってはこう長く苦しい時代が続くんですね。
we believe that the characteristics of Bingata were developed um, with the trade links with other countries. Uh, we can see the influences um, of China, for example, but also Indian textiles, which have come into Okinawa as well. Um, those have played part in developing these, um, the, the, character, the, the fabrics of Bingata. But when it comes to colors, um, it is believed that it is um, strongly linked to the Okinawan climate of strong sunshines. So the vibrant colors that won't fade in the, in the light of sun, strong suns. Maybe we can tell us uh, about the, the dyeing process and how, <laughs> how Bingata is made. And I know we have some, some videos as well, so I hope they work. Let's have a, we start with the first stencil cutting. Bingata is usually dyed with the use of stencils, and this video that you are seeing now is the cutting of the stencil stencil. As you can see, all the cuttings is by being, being done by hand and using a small knife. And once all the patterns have been cut, then we can move on to the next process. And the next process is place the stencil on top of the cloth and apply the glue and uh, rice paste on top of the cloth to um, set the pattern. これもですね、and this putting the patterns on top of the cloth can be challenging, especially um, I, we tend to create kimono. And to create kimono, it requires about 12 meters of um, fabric. And what we need to make sure is from the beginning to the end, we just need to make sure that the patterns will be consistent without any. Um, needs to be aligned. Um, is challenging. Therefore, even the laboratory that I am part of, only a few craftsmen can take on that process. How big, how big is the, the stencil? Size. Mm. Small one would be about this much, this size. Even the bigger ones would be about this size. It really depends um, on what you're making. And this, in the third process, yes, we can start the dyeing process. ピンガタは one of the characteristics of Bingata um, is that it is painted, dyed with the use of pigments. And it's um, and pigments are made of minerals. Um, therefore, you need the you can't simply paint um, on top of the cloth. It, it requires the process of rubbing to make sure that the pigments go stays um, on the cloth. No, so it's no. Dyes or shibota, shirumo, so when you cry in this ne, so when you may have 
身の回りにあるものを工夫して使った先人の知恵があると思います。And to set the pigments well,、um, we use the soybean juice and、um, ground soybean juice to, to create the colors, make the colors. And that shows、um, it is a historical technique and it shows the knowledge of our ancestors、um, that created this process. The next one. The details. Yes. はい、次の工程は「くまどり」と呼ばれておりまして、えっと、他の型染めにはない瓶型の大きな特徴と言えると思います。And the next process is、um, it's, a, it's called「くまどり」。It's a shading technique. And this is one of the major characteristics of Bingata that is not seen in other dyeing,、um, dyeing of the fabrics. 前の工程である色差しで定着させた顔料の上により濃い色を入れることによって柄の立体感やあとはその草花ですとか生き物が図案として使われること多いんですけれどもそれらがより生き生きとして見えるような効果を持っています。So we have colored in the previous process、um, to make sure that the pigment stays on the cloth and in the next process We add darker colors to bring out those patterns、um, and add, make it a little bit more three dimensional. By doing that,、um, a lot of the Bingata patterns are fauna and flora of Okinawa, but they become a lot more vivid and vibrant and more lively. Next. So, 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 その前にそのまま上から染料をかけてしまうとせっかく染めた柄の色が濁ってしまうんですね。ですのでもう一度このように柄の上から塗りを図柄をなぞるように伏せていきます。The next process is coloring the background, but we can't just move on to color、um, what is left、um, of the patterns because it just would Make the color、um, what we have already colored more muted. So, we there needs to be a process of adding another layer of glue or paste on top. And this is one of the more challenging p r o c e s s、um, because we are applying the glue back onto the cloth. If you make any mistakes, we can't retract、um, what has been applied. So it is very challenging. And the next is background painting,、uh, painting jizome.、Um, we are coloring the background. And, and this is the As you can see, we use a large brush to apply the paint、um, in one coat, several coats to cover the area. But you have to make sure that it is done smoothly, otherwise, you will see the slight unevenness on the cloth. And after you paint the background, we can move on to the final stage of washing. The glue off. Actually, correction. I have explained that the washing is the final process,、mm -hmm. but before we move, move on to that,、um, we need to go through the, the Bingata cloth needs to go through the steaming process、mm -hmm. of about one hour of about 100 degrees Celsius. You would leave the cloth in the steam, and that would bring out the colors, that would set the colors onto、mm -hmm. the cloth. 
この虫の工程は実は昔はなかった工程で戦後あの和服として瓶型が染められるようになってから帯とかはこう。締めるという作業がありますので、擦れに強くないといけないということで、戦後加わった工程になります。And this process does not exist、um, in the historical、um, techniques of Bingata. It was only brought in after the Second World War、uh, because Bingata was started to be used for different、um, purposes, not only in kimono but in obi belt as well. And in, with obi belt, it has a lot of rubbing、um, process when you are tying. Tying it up、um, and steaming、um, by setting it the colors, it would make it more stronger for any of the friction,、um, including rubbing. I can see your obi is bingata. <laughs> yes, exactly.、Um, I am wearing the bingata obi. Yes. それで、はい、大まかな工程は以上になるんですがこの他にもたくさんの工程があったりですとか道具も自分たちで手作りしていることが多いので名前もついていないような作業がたくさんあります。And yes,、um, with the washing,、um, this concludes the very rough explanation of bingata dyeing techniques. But in the actual、um, dyeing process that we practice, it includes a lot more different process. And Including different um, items, um, paraphernalia that we have created ourselves as well. So there are so many steps that d o e s n t even have any name.、Um. Thank you. Thank you. These are some of your tools、はい、that you will need. Dogu Nitsuite, o h o n a s h i m a s o this name. ね、yes, let me explain a little bit about the tools.、Um, as I have explained,、um, we, Bingata is developed with the usage of anything and any items that the craftspeople could find in their everyday lives.、ねね、the And if you cast your eyes on the top right <laughs> picture,、um, you see the darker brown squares、um, in front of you. And that, th those squares were actually made out of tofu. <laughs> 沖縄では昔から島豆腐といって豆腐を食べる文化がとありまして、それを瓶型にも活用しているんですね。これは型掘りの時の土台として使用します。あの沖縄 has eaten tofu 島豆腐 for centuries、um,。and that was used as part of 瓶型、um,。as part of the its tool as well。Um, and these squares are used as a base、um, when you're cutting the stencils、うん、as well. この左側の大きな写真になるんですけれども、こちらはちょっと歴史の話と、えっと、重複しますが、戦後何もなかった時代に工夫して瓶型を染めるためにですね、えっと、その時代この、この袋のようなものは、先ほど説明した、えっと、のり伏せの時に使う道具なんですけれども、その先は実は薬莢でできているんです。のり伏せのり。はい。Um, and the, the bigger picture on the left、um, is shows、um, several different tools. And this is linked to what I've explained、um, and during and after the war,、um, where craftspeople really needed to be inventive when it comes to coming up with the tools. And the two of the Items that look s almost like a cloth bag、um, that are used for putting the rice based glue on top of the cloth. And the tip of those bags are made with the lakyo,、um, yeah. which is yeah. 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 Yeah.、Um, it's,、uh, it's the food items.、Um, <laughs> sorry, correction.、Um, no, it's, not,、um, it's, it's made with bullet.、Mm. ですね、戦後はそういったものがあちらこちらに落ちていたそうでそれを使って
袋の筒先にしてそこからのりが出るという仕組みですね。How it came about is that the local people would find bullets everywhere、um, during the Second World War. So they would pick it up and started to use it as the tip of the, the paste application. The paste application. And the black squares that you see in the center,、um, you might be able to tell, but it is the、um, cut out LP record. And that is used to spread out the glue. It shows the history. Of how people needed to find、um, items around their, all around their life and then be inventive to be creative in Bingata. So, Bingata, how it has been、mm. worn, how it has been used, and how is it used today? Mm. Mm. はい、そうですね。銀型の始まりとしては、王族のために染められていましたので、あの画面の左側にあるような流装と呼ばれる、えっと、琉球国独特の衣装として染められるものが、昔の使い方としては主なものでした。Uh, yes, so historically,、um, as I've explained, Bingata was worn by the royal family and it was used as part of their ceremonial wares and called it Yugata,、um, a very、um, rich,、uh, it was native to the Ryukyu kingdom and in this shape and form. So, in the past, the Bingata was worn by the royal family. And that has developed to what is worn today. On the, you can see the examples on the right. And it is now being worn as kimono or obi. The kimono we have behind us. This Um, yes, um, what we have today is the odori isho, so dancing,、um, dancing wear. And this、um, pattern is based on the、um, historical version, so not the contemporary bingata, but the older bingata. Much looser. It's much looser. So, obi ga nai n desu. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have, it doesn't require any obi、um, belt. Thank you. It's your turn now, Odo san. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about what you do? I think your job sounds really quite interesting.、Um, how do you work with Bingata? What do you do? What's your role? How do you work with it? えっと、私たちの組織は2019年に設立させていただいたまだあの若い組織でして、えっとその先ほど上田さんがおっしゃってたように琉球銀型っていうのは今ほとんどあの呉服あの和服とか帯に使われているものですものです。で、えっと私た
なのでその今写真にあるように、えー、と県内や県外の企業とのコラボレーションを行っていたりですとかあの NFT など新しい技術が何か起こった時に、えー、と琉球便型のデザインを活用して NFT を発行したりですとかこう着物帯以外のアイテムで何かもっと新しい若い世代にもニーズがあるような商品を企画できないかということで今活動しております。So we carry on the expansion、um, program、uh, with the, some of the examples be collaboration、uh, with the companies,、um, not just within Okinawa, but out、um, away at different prefectures as well. And whenever there are new items developed, then we would、um, publish NFTs as well. And also,、um, we, would, um, we would create interesting items to appeal to younger generations as well, not only limited to kimono. What sort of things do you produce for the younger generation? ドキュメントのものを作ってください。うん、えっと、琉球便型っていうのはものすごく高価なものなので、あの若い世代、私たちはあんまりちょっと買うことができない価格帯になっているので、まあこういったあのスカーフですとか、あの文房具ノートですと
do you work with the consortium? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> How is the balance working? で、um, yes, I do. Um, I do think it's important uh, that I am working with the consortium uh, because partly because it brings the work that wouldn't have been born just by me working in the labor laboratory. For example, um, I have done a an online course, online workshop, and that was through the consortium. Um, so a lot of these new opportunities wouldn't have been born if it wasn't for the consortium. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I think it's probably time for a demonstration. Yeah. Hi. has very kindly agreed to, has agreed to, to, to give us a demonstration of Bingata. She will, she will talk through this um, as she goes along and, and Air will, will help us with the interpretation. <laughs> and you will be able to see on the screen as well for those of you at the back, not right in the front. <laughs> I will cover my being up at <laughs> Yes, okay. では um, it will be quite short for today's um, demonstration, but I would love you to see the actual um, coloring of Bingata. And as we have explained, Bingata is um, made with the stencils, and this is the example of the stencil that we use. So um, today we will show you the coloring process. So after the stencil has already been put and the rice paste glue has been applied, and the pattern has been set, and now we're on to the coloring process. Um, I will show you the coloring of yellow. I'm hoping, um, hopefully, it will be easy for you to see. And so the example of the cloth that we have brought today would be very similar to the one that I would be working in Japan. And this would be 12 meters long, as I'd explained. And after being colored, that would be put, um, put together as part of kimono. まずこの生地の白い部分ですね。周りの青い部分には糊が乗っかっていて防線されている状態です。Um so what you see and um, the white in the pattern is the color of the fabric itself and the blue around it is the color of paste rice paste glue. And so that would be, that the blue part is sealed. では塗っていきます。Okay. Now um let me begin. As I have explained, um, because Bingata is colored with pigments, um, it is necessary for us to go through this rubbing process to make sure that the color stays. Therefore, um, I am holding two different brushes in my hand. One is to put the colors on top of the cloth, but the other is to rub it in. この時の力加減も非常に難しくて、強すぎると糊が取れてしまいますし、弱すぎると色が定着しないんですね。And the pressure that I, to apply 
the brush onto the cloth is very important and it's one of the more difficult things in being at the painting if it's too strong um the glue will come off and if it's too soft um the color won't stay so you need to find a very adequate point So everything is hand painted and each pattern will be colored by hand. もちろんこのように最初は白い状態ですのでどの箇所にどの色を入れるかというのを間違えてしまうとそこを直すのはとても大変なので職人はそれを間違えないように日々気をつけています。and without saying, um, because everything is white to begin mm. with, and you have to be careful where the, where you place the correct color. So the craftspeople need to be mindful and they need to remember where each color goes where. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
same bingata anywhere and each bingata is very much of an original mm -hmm. and you couldn't recreate it in the same way なので、1つの帯を染めるのにも大体1人でやると1月かかってしまいます。And how long does it take to do the whole process? Um is really dependent, but um if you if I were to color the obi belt by myself, it would take a whole month. Um 今日ちょっとお見せできるのはこの一部の過程ですがこれをそうですね12メーターぐらい繰り返してやっとできあがるというのが瓶型ですなんでですねこの一部の過程ですがこれを一部の過程ですがこれを一部の過程ですがこれを
ている中で私たちもあの日本の工芸会初でとりあえずこうどうなるかわからないけど発行してみようということでまず発行してみたということがあります。でその中で、えっと、例えばその限定の NFT を発行してあの青森というあの沖縄の酒造とタイアップをしてその NFT を買っていただいた方にその限定の青森を配布するですとか買っていただいた方限定で工房のツアーをするとかそういった取り組みを今少ししています。Um, yes, many prefectures are, have、um, been issuing NFTs.、Um, so we have, decide, we have started、um, as, part, as an experiment, really,、um, started to issue these NA, NFTs、um, as a limited edition s and as an experiment.、Um, for example,、um, we work with some of the Awamori、um, breweries and they、um, to So, we have started to do the collaboration with them. And when, for those who have purchased our NFTs, and we have offered the limited、um, Awamori brewery tour. Awamori is the, the, the Okinawan uh, distilled uh, spirit, uh, which, is, which is found in, in, in only in really in Okinawa. Do we have another question? We do. We have a question in the center at the back. If you could keep your hand up. Yes, please. Thank you. And if you could keep the microphone, then we'll pass it back as well after your question. Thank you. Hi.、Um, I was wondering with the background color. So, in this one you were demonstrating, it, the paste is taken off and it's remaining white. But what if you're making it like this? One, the kimono here is a solid background of turquoise. Is that all hand painted or is it another process? Yeah. Uh, for this one,、um, the you know, examples that you have mentioned,、um, it is applied with the background painting technique that、um, we have shown in, as part of the process. So it would be applied with a big brush. So, before the background paint is applied,、uh, we would cover all those patterns that have already been colored with glue、uh, to seal it. And so that color will be preserved once the turquoise is applied, and then both c o l o r will be、um, vibrant, the present in the finishing product. That was the process that I think when Weda san was talking about, this is the point you can't make a mistake at,、mm-hmm. because otherwise、mm-hmm. the whole thing is ruined、mm-hmm. if you're not able to cover the, the details that you've made already. Thank you, thank you very much. We had another question there as well. If you could keep your hand up so we can get to you. Thank you both for this、uh, fascinating talk. I have a question about design. How, what is the process of the design for the patterns and the stencils like, and who is involved? あえっと、ピン型には大きく2つ柄の種類がありまして古典柄と呼ばれるものと創作柄と呼ばれる新しく作られた柄があるんですね。古典柄は校長時代から染められていたこのような柄をあの示しています。創作柄は戦後に作られた各職人がですね、一からオリジナルで作り上げられた柄になります。私たちの工房では、主にあの私の師匠である知念トーマ氏がデザインを担っています。Thank you for the question.、Um, Bingata has two different types of designs.、Uh, one is classic design, and the other is more of a contemporary creative design. And the classic one、um, is、um, Is really、uh, rooted in the kingdom era, so it's the historical patterns.、Um, the, the creative one was really developed after the Second World War by each、uh, craftspeople. And it's、um, so the classics ones, we don't really change the design, we just would apply it.、Um, the, but the creative one is、um, 
dependent on which laboratory that the Bing Adder is making. Um, so, but the designer um, in our laboratory would be Chin and Toma, um, my um, master. Okay, thank you. I have one question online, actually, as well. This is from Priscilla. Um, how do you choose the color palette for each design? あ、ですので、せっかく手染めなので、毎回毎回少しずつ配色を変えて一点物になるように心がけて配色しています。uh, yes, so in my laboratory, um, it would, uh, the selection of the colors would be taken on by Chin and Toma um, again. And because it's, everything is hand painted, um, we are careful in slightly altering colors as well, depending on what we're making. So no one product would be end up with just the same coloring. I mean, it's very particular, isn't it? This color palette from Okinawa. Mm. I think we mentioned earlier that it's very vibrant, very bright. The sun in Okinawa is extremely strong. Mm. If you had something mm. wishy washy, it wouldn't really work. I don't think mm. that. <laughs> Thank you. We have a question in the front here. If you could, if you could wait for the microphone so that we can hear online. Thank you. With the classic design, are there any copyright issues with the various laboratories? <laughs> あ、はい。そうですね。古典柄に関しては、えっと、私たちも自由に使っていいんですよ。はい。Um in regards to the classic design, no, um everyone can freely use the patterns and designs um each laboratory can. そうですね。古典柄についてあともう数百年前にできている方なので、それを皆さん、ま、ちょっと古典柄 because the classic designs um dates back several centuries ago um any laboratory can freely use them some of them will add slight tweaks to make that make it their original um but so they can use either keep it completely um classic or make it to the um, slightly original and um, with their adoption of this line. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have um, another question on online. If I'm, this is from Karen. Would the consortium entertain branching out with Chinen Laboratory to create regular workshops with Okinawan schools? both public and private. I don't know, that's maybe something you do already. For example, in the UK, we have pottery paint shops for a range of ages. Um, could something like this be created in Okinawa for Bingata? Mm. <laughs> 銀型を作るっていう授業があって、そういったことはあのコンソーシアム多別に琉球銀型の組合っていうものが昔からある組合があって、組合が主にそういったことはやられているかなと思います。どっちかというと私たちはあの対企業とかホテルとかそういったところで
how you became interested specifically in the application of pigment to cloth and how that was decided. はい、ですね。私たちの工房の中での仕事の仕方としては、まず工房に入ったら一人で一通りの作業をできるようになるように、あの、なんて言うんでしょうね、勉強します。um, so um, in our laboratory, um, every um, new new addition uh, will go through the full training um, of um, being able to take on any process of the dyeing technique. これもちょっと担当する工房が全く um, but your question is um, would be applicable to the mainland Japan. Um, for example, so not only just a a crafts people, um, but each laboratory um, in different areas of Japan would take on that specific mm. technique and dyeing process. For example, in Kyoto, uh, one laboratory would take on the painting process and the other would take on the glue process. Um, but that is not the case in Okinawa and um, Bingata dyeing technique, mm. maybe because Okinawa was a small island, but um, we needed to take on the whole process from beginning to the end. Mm. そうですね。私の場合は今は工房の中では熊取りの作業を担当していまして、とそのやはり職人一人一人で得意な分野と少し苦手な分野があると思いますので、そのあたりは私の女子である。あの知念と申しが判断してこの人にはこれをやらせみ
it's it's taken me to Okinawa, and this as the weather gets colder now, it's mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to some nice sun maybe in Okinawa in my mind at least. If you uh, go upstairs, you will be able to see a uh, particular display we have at the moment of ceramics uh, from Okinawa, from uh, Tsuboya, and uh, from Yomitan. We have an exhibition coming up. We're in preparation at the moment for our gallery. This starts on the 16th of November. From the very south of Japan, we go to the very north of Japan, to Hokkaido, and to a story about the Ainu population of Nibutani, uh, which is just south of Sapporo. Uh, we also, with JNTO, we're working with uh, Toyama Prefecture, and we have a series of events um, related to Wagashi, but this one is only online, I believe now. I think we're also all booked out, but you can see it online as well. That's not very good. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, once again, if you could join me in thanking all of our friends from Okinawa. Thank you so much indeed. For <laughs>